You know, when it comes to owning and operating a successful business as a black American, some say that there are just more hurdles to clear, and most of them are financial. WMER 2 News' Kendall Green shows us how a program in Baltimore is working to change all that, helping entrepreneurs on their path toward business success. Something worth looking at here. Bella Bridesmaids. It's an example here in downtown Baltimore of what black businesses can accomplish when they have the proper resources and relationships. And tucked away in Druid Hill Park is a display of art created by Colin Williams. He tells us after working a nine to five for years, he quit and decided he'd devote his life to his passion. It suddenly came to me. Um, there was some gel pens and a coloring book that my roommate had uh, purchased and I started coloring them one day. And already he has a growing fan base. If he had the, had the finances or the backing, there's no telling where this guy could go. Latanya Turnitz, the owner of Elite Secrets Bridal, and Collins have so much in common. I just felt so encouraged to do something that I love to do, to make my stamp on the world. But the difference is their access to information and financial backing. Being a small business and black owned, there's a lot of things that we don't think about. We just, we just think, you know, we got this idea and it's going to happen, you know. Black owned businesses, when they apply for funding, uh, are rejected at over twice the rate as white-owned businesses. Black-owned businesses start up with less capital than white-owned businesses, and as a result, they fail at higher rates than white-owned businesses. Samuel Story, the Director of Development at the Downtown Partnership, tells us the Boost program aims to support black businesses in bridging that equity gap. We are then connecting them with accountants along the way to build up their financials as well. Turnage hopes more black business owners will join her and take advantage of the Boost program in the future. To, even if there was like maybe two more cohorts, you figure that's 15 small businesses that have been able to not open, not only open up, but become like our own little community right back down. So that will make downtown popping again. Not a lot of people can say, I'm going to do what I love to do and I'm going to get paid for it, unless you're like a celebrity or something. You have abilities, whether you're disabled or not. Everyone has something to give. Reporting in Baltimore, Kendall Green. WMAR2 News.